Hi guys, my name is Alexander. I have a terrible case for you. So listen up. Everything about Stephen McDaniel, murderer of Lauren Giddings. In June 2011, the brutal murder of 27-year-old Lauren Giddings shocked a community. The prime suspect in this heinous crime was none other than Stephen McDaniel, a former classmate and neighbor of Giddings. The evidence against McDaniel was damning with the discovery of Giddings' dismembered torso in a trash can near their apartment complex. In this article, we will dive deep into the chilling details of the murder and the subsequent legal proceedings that led to McDaniel's conviction. Table of Contents Stephen McDaniel was born on September 9, 1985, in a suburban neighborhood near Atlanta, Georgia. His early life was largely unremarkable, with no significant events that would hint at the dark path he would later tread. Raised in a typical American household, McDaniel was known to be academically inclined from a young age. McDaniel's academic journey led him to Mercer University, a private institution in Macon, Georgia. Here, he pursued a degree in law, demonstrating a keen intellect and a knack for legal studies. His academic performance was commendable, and he successfully graduated from Mercer University's law school. During his time at Mercer, McDaniel crossed paths with Lauren Giddings, a fellow law student who would later become his victim. Lauren Giddings was a fellow law school graduate and McDaniel's neighbor. She was a promising 27-year-old woman, preparing to take the bar exam and embark on a career as a defense attorney. Both McDaniel and Giddings were neighbors, living in the same apartment complex near the school's campus. This proximity allowed McDaniel to observe Giddings closely, a fact that would later prove crucial in the unfolding of events. Despite their shared environment, there was no significant relationship between the two. They were not close friends, and their interactions were limited. Giddings was focused on her studies and her upcoming bar exam, while McDaniel kept to himself his true intentions hidden. Behind the facade of a quiet law student, McDaniel harbored a dark obsession with Giddings. He had been stalking her, gathering information about her whereabouts, and even looking into her apartment through a window. This obsession was not only limited to physical stalking. McDaniel had also been collecting digital information about Giddings, as evidenced by the data found on his laptop during the investigation. This unhealthy fixation escalated to the point where McDaniel began planning Giddings' murder. In the early hours of June 26, 2011, Stephen McDaniel committed a heinous act that would forever mar his life and end Lauren Giddings. He broke into Giddings' apartment using a stolen master key, a clear indication of his premeditation. Once inside, he strangled Giddings to death, extinguishing a life full of promise and potential. But the horror did not end there. After murdering Giddings, McDaniel dismembered her body using a hacksaw in the bath tube, a gruesome act that underscored the brutality of his crimey. This act of dismemberment was not only a chilling testament to McDaniel's capacity for violence, but also a calculated attempt to dispose of the evidence. Following the murder, McDaniel attempted to maintain a facade of normalcy. He posed as a concerned neighbor, even giving an interview to local news media where he described Giddings as nice as can be and very personable. However, when the reporter informed him that a body had been discovered, McDaniel's demeanor dramatically changed. The moment he heard this news from the reporter during the interview, his worry turned into visible panic. In the days following the murder, McDaniel remained in the vicinity of the apartment complex, watching as authorities conducted their investigations. He even refused to allow a thorough search of his apartment initially, citing his rights as a lawyer to protect his personal space. On June 30, 2011, four days after her murder, Giddings' dismembered torso was found in a trash can near her apartment complex. The discovery of her remains led to a flurry of activity as the police began their investigations in earnest. McDaniel and other neighbors were taken to the police station to give statements about Giddings' disappearance. At this point, none of them knew that her remains had been found. The discovery of Giddings' body marked the beginning of the end for McDaniel as the net of justice began to close around him. Following the discovery of Lauren Giddings' remains, 
the police began their investigation. Stephen McDaniel quickly became a person of interest due to his peculiar behavior. His dramatic reaction during a local news interview where he learned of the discovery of a body raised eyebrows. His worry turned to visible panic, a reaction that seemed out of place for a mere concerned neighbor. Lauren's torso, which had been wrapped in a black garbage bag, was found dumped in a trash can near her apartment. Following the harrowing find, Macon Police Chief Mike Burns spoke at a press conference during which he said, I want to ask the public to help us with this investigation. The victim was dismembered, so if the public smells any kind of foul odor to please contact the police department. Word quickly spread and news crews descended on the scene. Lauren's former college classmate and next-door neighbor, Stephen McDaniel, gave statements to media outlets at the time, stating, She's as nice as can be, very personable, very much a people person. We don't know where she is. The only thing we can think is that maybe she went to running and someone snatched her. Midway though his interview with WGXA, McDaniel was asked about the recently discovered remains, at which point his face went blank, he stuttered, and then went to sit down. Returning to speak to the camera just a short time later, McDaniel appeared to be fighting back the tears and, with his voice wavering, asked, Why would anyone do this? If I saw something, maybe I could have helped. Lauren's boyfriend, David Van Diver, was initially put under the spotlight until other details began to emerge. McDaniel had not attended class around the time Lauren went missing, and it was widely known that he owned a series of weapons. Lauren's mother described him as a recluse who Lauren had encouraged to come out with the class. But McDaniel was then brought in to talk with police who obtained search warrants for his apartment and car, which uncovered a whole heap of damning evidence. They found a collection of knives and guns, as well as spots of blood splattered on the walls and ceiling. He had two keys set out on his dresser. One was a master key to the entire complex, and the other was for Lauren's apartment. Police also found a stash of child pornography and a pair of Lauren's underwear in his bedroom drawer. There was a large bloody sheet in the laundry room of the apartment complex, and a hacksaw with human flesh found in a storeroom, with the original packaging found in McDaniel's apartment. Despite his initial refusal, the police eventually conducted a thorough search of McDaniel's apartment. The search yielded damning evidence that linked him to the crime. Among the items found were Giddings' underwear and a stolen master key that he had used to break into her apartment. Further investigation of McDaniel's digital footprint revealed even more disturbing evidence. His laptop contained information about Giddings and her whereabouts, indicating that he had been stalking her. There were also videos showing him peering into Giddings' apartment through a window. These findings coupled with McDaniel's posts on internet blogs and forums expressing his hatred of women and desire to hurt them, strengthened the case against him. Based on the evidence gathered and his suspicious behavior, McDaniel was brought in for another round of questioning on the same day Giddings' body was discovered. During his interrogation, McDaniel made a crucial slip-up. While he did not admit to murdering Giddings, he confessed to an unrelated crime. He admitted to burglarizing his classmates' residences, a confession that led to his initial arrest on burglary charges. As the police continued to gather evidence linking him to Giddings' murder, McDaniel was eventually charged with the crime. His confession to burglary, coupled with the mounting evidence against him, led to his arrest for the murder of Lauren Giddings. This marked the beginning of the legal proceedings against McDaniel a process that would eventually see him convicted for his horrific crime. The trial of Stephen McDaniel was a significant event, marked by the presentation of compelling evidence that linked him to the murder of Lauren Giddings. Key pieces of evidence included the stolen master key used to break into Giddings' apartment, her underwear found in McDaniel's possession, and the damning digital footprint on his laptop. The laptop contained information about Giddings and her whereabouts, as well as videos of McDaniel looking into her apartment through a window. Furthermore, McDaniel's posts on internet blogs and forums expressing his hatred of women and desire to hurt them 
were presented as evidence of his mindset and potential motive. During the trial, there were minor disagreements in legal strategy between McDaniel and his attorneys. His lawyers, while considering McDaniel's notes and suggestions, viewed them from the perspective of a law student, not an experienced lawyer. This difference in perspective led to some friction, but ultimately, the experienced lawyer's strategy prevailed. His confession, which came out of the blue, took his attorneys by surprise. They had believed in his innocence until that point, making the confession a turning point in the case. He admitted to breaking into her apartment using the stolen master key, strangling her to death, and dismembering her body with a hacksaw in the bathtub. Following his guilty plea, McDaniel was sentenced to life in prison for his crime. The judge's sentence reflected the severity of the crime and the overwhelming evidence against McDaniel. Despite his attempts to appeal the conviction in the years following his sentencing, McDaniel remains in prison, serving his life sentence for the brutal murder of Lauren Giddings. While in jail, Stephen McDaniel underwent a significant physical transformation. He lost a substantial amount of weight and spent most of his time in the infirmary. However, there were concerns among the jail staff that he was faking illness. Despite his unresponsive state, a psychological evaluation was never performed on McDaniel, leaving questions about his mental state during this period. Following his conviction and sentencing, Stephen McDaniel did not quietly accept his fate. He made numerous attempts to appeal his conviction, alleging ineffective counsel and claiming that the state had stolen his defense trial preparations. However, all of his appeals have been unsuccessful to date. In a bid to support his son, McDaniel's father, Mark McDaniel, started a GoFundMe campaign in 2018 to raise funds for the legal expenses needed for an appeal. However, the page was promptly taken down, reflecting the public's unwillingness to support the cause of a convicted murderer. McDaniel's attempts to appeal his conviction have been seen as a desperate effort to escape the consequences of his actions. Despite his claims, the evidence against him remains overwhelming, and his guilt in the murder of Lauren Giddings is widely accepted. Despite his attempts to appeal his conviction and his father's efforts to support him, McDaniel remains behind bars, paying the price for his heinous crime. Despite his attempts to appeal his conviction, legal experts strongly believe that he will spend the rest of his life behind bars. McDaniel will be eligible for parole in 2041. However, given the severity of his crime and the strong evidence against him, it is highly unlikely that he will be granted parole. The murder of Lauren Giddings by Stephen McDaniel sent shockwaves through the community. It was a stark reminder of the potential danger lurking in seemingly safe environments. The fact that McDaniel was a fellow law student and neighbor added to the sense of betrayal and fear. The community was left grappling with the loss of a promising young woman and the horrifying revelation of a murderer in their midst. The crime also had a profound impact on Mercer University and its law school. It served as a wake-up call for the institution, prompting a re-evaluation of safety measures and student support systems. The case of Stephen McDaniel is a chilling study of obsession turned deadly. It underscores the importance of vigilance and community support in ensuring safety. The evidence against McDaniel, from his digital footprint to physical evidence, highlights the role of thorough investigation in achieving justice. The conviction and life sentence of McDaniel serve as a testament to the effectiveness of the justice system, even in the face of attempts to evade responsibility. Despite McDaniel's efforts to appeal his conviction, the truth of his horrific crime remains undeniable. As we reflect on this case, we remember Lauren Giddings, a promising young woman whose life was tragically cut short. We are reminded of the importance of community, vigilance, and justice in the face of such unthinkable crimes.